Hi there, this is Laurence Bradford from Learn to Code with Me. And I decided to start doing some videos because I'm really bad at public speaking and expressing myself through uh, talking. Um, not that bad when it comes to writing, but speaking, not so great. So I decided this would be a good way for me to work on it and also um, Hopefully I can get better and actually provide some uh, valuable feedback. So I want to talk about text editors right now and which is the best for you and which is my favorite. So let's see, a text editor is a type of program used for editing plain text files, as you can see here. If you're a beginner, you're probably thinking, uh, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> uh, the difference between plain text and processed text is that processed text comes with all this pre-formatted stuff like font, font weight, indentation, line spacing, etc. That's something that you find in um, Microsoft Word, in Google Docs, and in uh, Microsoft not Microsoft, Mac Pages, I don't whatever Pages, I think it's Mac. So a plain text editor is important when you're writing code because if you use one of those processed ones and you try to put it to the internet, it won't work or yeah, it just, it just won't work. <laughs> so when you're getting a text editor, some things to look for is, you know, the price, uh, the flexibility, the ease, if you like using it. I mean, really what it comes down to is how comfortable you are using the text editor. Because at the end of the day, they all kind of do the same thing, right? They all Sorry, I had to readjust and stand up because I was getting a little tired, so I hope I look okay. Uh, anyhow, so right now I have up a text editor, which is Text Wrangler. And this is a file that I've been working on. Actually, it's a web application with the One Month Rails online course, which is really awesome, and you should check it out. So this is just kind of an example of your standard text editor. The Text Wrangler is only available on Mac. Um, yes, on Mac. And something comparable, I would say, would be Notepad++ for Windows. And then for... Linux, there is Get It. Oh, let me uh, go here. Get It for Linux. I think that's how you say that. And then my favorite text editor is Sublime Text, which does cost $70, but they do have a free trial. And it's compatible with Mac, Windows, and Linux. And the reason why I really like it is, honestly, it's just really... Um, pretty and it's nice to look at <laughs> and I really like the color schemes also it's the thing that I started off with so again I'm just really comfortable with it I've tried using uh, text wrangler for some things because the um, tutorial or online course I was doing was using it so I could follow along better but I do prefer sublime text at the end of the day and honestly all my friends use it so I guess you can say peer pressure right so let's do a comparison. There's, uh, here's Text Wrangler, and now let's look over at Sublime Text 2, which is just obviously beautiful, right? And this is the same file, uh, the same Pinterest name web app in uh, here, and it's just great. And you can see that right at the bottom, and, you know, the other one does this too, but whatever. It says, you know, the language you're in, HTML. It has syntax highlighting to help you read your code better. It does automatic indentation because, you know, it's kind of, it's like smart. So it knows when you should be indenting. It just kind of does it for you. It, one of the things I really like about it, it kind of has this auto fill feature. Well, there's two. I don't know exactly how to word it, but say if, ah, uh, this, okay. If you're, you're writing CSS and you're going to call a class name and you use um, a class name before, once you start typing it in, it'll appear because it knows you already used it, right? And also, this is another kind of text auto-completion. Uh, so say when you're writing something right here like HTML, right? 
and say I want to make a heading tag. Okay, so I'm doing H1. H1. Okay, I press the tab key. Tab. And voila. Right? Right there, it fills in the rest for you. It just makes it so simple. So I'm be like, hello there. And even... My apologies. Accidentally, uh clicked out of that. Where was I? Here. Okay, hello there. And then even better, what it does is say I want to do a button, right? I'm like, button, but I want to give it a class. So I press the period of, we'll just do main. So button.main, tab. There it is again, right? It just filled it all in for me perfectly. Okay, so now let's say I want to do a Oh, well, <laughs> now, let's, let's go back up here, actually, and do a header with an I, ooh, that was not right, a header with an ID of main page, right, tab. Again, there it is. You know, I should have put that in there, thinking about it. Okay, cool. Another great thing about uh, Sublime Text 2 is it's really easy for beginners to learn and to work from. And there's a lot you can then add on to it when you get more advanced. So there are these uh, plugins and packages and different capabilities. So you kind of can grow with it. And again, I have a lot of friends that are much more experienced and love Sublime Text 2. You know, I'm a beginner and I love it. So I would definitely recommend looking into Sublime Text 2. But again, as I mentioned, what it really comes down to is your comfort and what you are most efficient and productive in. So maybe this is a little too much for you. Maybe you would prefer something like Text Wrangler or one of the other options out there. It's up to you. Okay, so thank you. I'm really glad that we're done with this and I'm going to try to do more videos because again, I really want to get better with public speaking.